Somebody was keeping a secret. And with each secret he kept, this man's power increased. Welcome, movie enthusiasts, to the YouTube Storyteller. Today, we're delving into the scandalous secrets of old Hollywood. Buckle up as we count down the top 10 scandals that rocked the golden age. At number 1, we shine a light on Charlie Chaplin's scandalous personal life. Multiple marriages, allegations of coercion, and political controversies, Chaplin's life was as complex as his iconic on-screen characters. He was very taken with me. He had his cameraman photograph me in the position of the famous painting, The Age of Innocence. In the mid-1920s, Chaplin's personal life took a controversial turn when he married Lolita McMurray, known as Lita Gray. Shockingly, Lita was in her mid-teens when their relationship began. The couple hastily tied the knot in 1924, attempting to avoid a scandal that could have landed Chaplin behind bars due to the age of his bride. The controversy deepened when Lita became pregnant in 1927, leading to their eventual divorce. In the court proceedings, Lita made startling allegations against Chaplin, claiming he had attempted to coerce her into having an abortion. She vividly described the treatment she endured as revolting, degrading, and offensive. As a result of the divorce, Lita Gray was awarded an unusually large settlement of $825,000. The scandal not only tarnished Chaplin's personal reputation but also had a lasting impact on his career. The public's perception of the beloved actor shifted, and the controversy became a stain that proved difficult to erase. Chaplin's life was not devoid of further scandals. In the early 1950s, facing political unrest and accusations related to his political beliefs, Chaplin decided to move to Switzerland. The United States denied him re-entry, marking another tumultuous chapter in his life. This episode added another layer of complexity to Chaplin's legacy, showcasing the intersection of personal choices and political turmoil. Hello? Hello, Helen. Why, Laura Stanhope. It's grand hearing you again. What's up? At number two, we have Peg Entwistle, famously known as the Hollywood Sign Girl, grappled with the immense pressures of the entertainment industry during the early years of Hollywood. In September of 1932, a poignant incident unfolded near the iconic Hollywood Sign, marking a tragic chapter in the life of this aspiring actress. On that fateful day, a woman exploring the hills near the Hollywood Sign made a haunting discovery, a jacket, a shoe, and a purse containing a note. As she followed the trail, she soon encountered the lifeless figure of British actress Peg Entwistle. The Hollywood Hills, once a symbol of dreams and stardom, became the backdrop of a heartbreaking end. Peg Entwistle, initially a prominent Broadway actress, ventured to Los Angeles with hopes of making her mark in the burgeoning film industry. I'm afraid I am a coward. I'm sorry for everything. She had achieved success with roles in Romney Brent's play, The Mad Hopes, and later in the feature film 13 Women, which sadly marked her posthumous film debut. Tragedy struck when RKO, the studio with which Entwistle had hoped to continue her budding film career, decided not to renew her contract. Faced with this professional setback, Entwistle confided in her uncle, with whom she resided. On that fateful day, she informed him that she was heading to the drugstore and would later meet friends. However, instead of pursuing a casual outing, she climbed the Hollywood sign, choosing to tragically end her own life. The tabloids of the time coined her the Hollywood Sign Girl, a samba moniker that echoed the struggles and challenges faced by artists in the demanding world of Hollywood. Peg Entwistle's story serves as a poignant reminder of the silent battles waged behind the glamour of the silver screen, shedding light on the emotional toll that the pursuit of fame and success can take on individuals. As we reflect on Peg Entwistle's life and the circumstances that led to her untimely demise, we are reminded of the complex narratives that unfold in the shadows of the entertainment industry, urging us to consider the human cost of the Hollywood dream. Where are you from, darling? How do you feel, darling? Darling, I know. You're a low person, darling. Yes, darling, yes, because one of my best friends is in the Navy. At number three on our list is the incomparable Tallulah Bankhead, a trailblazer whose life, if played out in today's media landscape, would undoubtedly make her the celebrity everyone is keeping up with. Known for her unabashed approach to discussing sex and sexuality, Bankhead's personal life was a constant source of fascination. The actress fearlessly embraced relationships with both male and female partners, even reportedly accepting a film role solely to engage romantically with Gary Cooper. Bankhead, a woman of unapologetic agency, underwent four abortions in her lifetime and faced a hysterectomy at the age of 31. So well. 
And how come when I climbed into this lifeboat, you were the only one in it, all dressed up like you knew you were going someplace? I was going someplace. I was going into a lifeboat. These deeply personal choices were emblematic of her determination to lead life on her own terms. Adding a touch of intrigue, MI5, the British intelligence agency, found itself delving into Bankhead's alleged entanglements with male Eton students, further fueling the rumors surrounding her... What's good about it? How soon do we get picked up? Good morning, Connie. We were just discussing that. It seems there's no way... Bankhead, however, remained unapologetically open about her substance use, contributing to her enigmatic and unconventional public persona. It's essential to note that Bankhead hailed from a distinguished political family in Alabama, a fact that only added layers to her already complex narrative. Despite ruffling feathers and courting controversy, Bankhead was too immersed in living her best life to be swayed by societal norms or expectations. In revisiting the vibrant chapters of Tallulah Bankhead's life, we are reminded of a woman who defied conventions, challenged societal norms, and fearlessly pursued her own version of happiness. Her legacy extends beyond the silver screen, serving as an inspiration for those who dare to embrace their authenticity in a world that often demands conformity. In the annals of Hollywood history, the enigma surrounding the death of Superman actor George Reeves holds a prominent place. Positioned at number 4 on our list, the circumstances of his demise on June 16, 1959, continue to intrigue and baffle to this day. Don't even try to get in there, Benson. Dr. Reed's in charge tonight. He's left orders that no one's to be admitted. Oh. According to lap reports, Reeves suffered a fatal gunshot wound, officially deemed as self-inflicted. The official narrative suggests that the actor, known for donning the iconic superhero cape, grappled with personal struggles amid a challenging search for work. However, the plot thickens as many have cast doubt on the veracity of this account, suspecting foul play in the shadows of Hollywood. One compelling aspect of this mystery lies in the actions of Reeves's fiancée, Lenore Lemon, and her guests on that fateful night. Reportedly, they waited a staggering 45 minutes before alerting the authorities after hearing the gunshot. Actor Fred Crane, present at the scene, allegedly claimed that Lemon returned to the room, stating, Tell them I was down here. The peculiar behavior only deepens the mystery surrounding Reeves's untimely end. Conspiracies further abound in the speculation that Hollywood heavyweight Eddie Mannix may have ordered a hit on Reeves. The alleged affair between Reeves and Mannix's wife, Tony Lanny, serves as a potential motive for a sinister plot. Yet, the absence of fingerprints on the weapon adds another layer of complexity to this unsolved Hollywood whodunit. As we delve into the perplexing tale of George Reeves's death, we are confronted with a Hollywood mystery that transcends the realms of fiction. Solved. You have anything to tell me? About what? Anything I need to have a story ready for. The fifth spot on our list is Clark Gable's secret love child. The tale unfolds during the filming of the 1935 flick Call of the Wild, where Gable's co-star, Loretta Young, found herself entangled in a web of secrecy and scandal. The whole company was snowed in. So my mother and father had a very long time to get to know each other and fall in love. Rumors swirled that Young became pregnant during the filming, allegedly with Gable's child. Complicating matters was Gable's marital status at the time. Fearing the consequences if the studio discovered the truth, Young grappled with the prospect of termination, a decision that could potentially devastate both of their careers. In a dramatic turn of events, Young chose to vanish temporarily from the public eye, keeping the pregnancy hidden for approximately 19 months. To conceal the truth, she claimed to have adopted the child, even resorting to surgical measures such as having the infant's ears pinned back to diminish the resemblance to Gable. Years later, in a startling revelation on a 1998 episode of Larry King Live, Young's daughter-in-law, Linda Lewis, disclosed that the circumstances of the child's conception were far from consensual. And when I was small, um, if I went in public with her, I always wore bonnets, so my ears were covered. This unexpected twist shed light on a darker aspect of the Hollywood affair, uncovering a truth that had remained concealed for decades. Thank you for joining us at the YouTube Storyteller. Remember, every scandal has a story, and every story has a voice. Share your thoughts in the comments, and let us know which old Hollywood scandal shocked you the most. Until next time, keep dreaming.